setting realistic goals. Most of the time, people tell you not to plan too big, because it can hurt to set yourself up for disappointment. However, there is a system that you can utilize in order to plan for success without feeling as if you are dreaming too big. There is no such thing as dreaming too big, and in fact, you can view setting a goal kind of like doing a puzzle. Of course, you need to set up the framework first. Find all the straight edges and place them where they are meant to be. That is the outline of the big picture. Once you figure that out, it is simply a matter of understanding the unique qualities of each puzzle piece as you begin to put them all together within the framework of the puzzle. Make sure that you know each piece in detail and look at it as a small piece of a bigger puzzle. Yes, you already know the main idea of what you are going to do. However, each little puzzle piece that you put into place has to be an individual set of goals that makes a part of the whole, so that you can achieve the big goal as well. For example, let's say you want to open a business. You have the idea for the business already. You probably even have a name for it picked out. You already know what you want the business to do and the services that you hope to provide to consumers. That is the framework of your puzzle. You already have that laid out and are ready to fill in the rest of the pieces. What you might not have necessarily. Is the puzzle piece filled in about how you're going to make the time to work on that goal, or another puzzle piece about how you're going to attract customers to your business, another puzzle piece about marketing, or another about acquiring the goods that you're going to sell from your business, or maybe you need backers or financial support by way of loans or other resources. All of these pieces of the puzzle are going to help you make up the big picture. Once you have the big picture broken down into these little pieces, then there is no reason why you can't work towards success. Once you have your big picture broken down into little puzzle pieces that you can work on and put into place, once you've achieved your support goals, then it is time to evaluate the way you work. Sometimes unforeseen events can happen, and they can throw you off schedule. Some people work really well under a structured and disciplined type of routine. Many successful people swear by having a good routine that they follow every day in order to make sure that they are accomplishing the things that they need to do in order to succeed. However, some people are more flexible, and they need more creative space in order to thrive and meet their goals. It is usually a delicate balance between the two that makes somebody highly successful. Evaluate what works best for you, and do not feel bad if you don't fall into the same type of work process that other people use. You are your own person, and your goals require the best part of you if you're going to succeed. Make sure that you are able to put that best foot forward and keep the process moving on. No matter which style you happen to thrive under, one thing is true of everybody: breaking a large goal or task down into smaller pieces is the surest way to achieving those goals successfully. Looking at something so big can be extremely intimidating, whether we are consciously intimidated or subconsciously. That intimidation can be dealt with by breaking these goals down in a way that is easy for anybody to achieve at any station in life. There is no reason to allow yourself to believe that there is any goal too large to accomplish. It is simply not true. As long as you are motivated and willing to put in the time and effort to see your goal through, there is a way that you can plan around any obstacles and succeed. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.